I'm having a little fun on uh, the 630 meter band tonight, copying signals in WSPR whisper mode and uploading them to a map so everybody can see the results on the internet. So let's play around. Now to upload what I am hearing on my receiver to the map, I have a program here called WSPR 2.0. Now you don't have to be a ham, uh, you don't need a ham license to upload to the map what you are receiving. You could be a shortwave listener and do this. If you're going to do any transmitting, of course, then you do need a ham license. But uh, anybody can go to the map and view it, of course, on the internet. Or you can upload to the map if you're just a shortwave listener by using this Whisper program. And the map can be seen at WSPRnet.org shows you the frequencies that are used and the ham bands on the left. This is a very weak signal mode. Uh, stations transmitting use QRP, very low power levels, but it can decode signals that are way down in the mud that you can barely even hear in your speaker. Right now in the United States, only experimentally licensed stations can transmit on 630 meters here yet, but it will soon be released to the hams in the U.S. But right now, just experimental stations, but anybody can receive here. And here you see the Whisper map showing uh, the stations that are on the air transmitting and the listening stations. And here is the worldwide view of the map. Stations in all areas of the world. The 630 meter band is mainly a nighttime band. Good uh, during hours of darkness. Now the whisper mode can be used on other ham bands and you can use it to transmit there also. But I'm on 630 meters here. It's a lot of fun to see what the propagation does on this band. Sometimes the propagation can surprise you on this band, especially with low power levels at night. I usually let my radio operate during the nighttime hours and let it uh, report or upload my reception to the map. And at WSPRnet.org Below the map, there are certain parameters you can set up for the map. You can enter in a time period, how long you want to look back. You can enter in a call sign of one station you want to see what the activity is, and enter in the band that you want to uh, that you're going to be receiving on or transmitting. Here, I entered in my own call sign, so I only see the stations that I am receiving here with my call sign. That's what the map shows now conditions are improving the later it gets. Here you can see I'm now decoding a signal from Hawaii even though I can't even hear it in my speaker. By clicking on a call sign on the map you can see the stations that it is hearing. My whisper software shows me the stations that I am decoding here also in the program. And to report the stations that I am decoding to the map, I check this box right here. That box says Upload Spots. It's also very important to have the correct band selected here so that you do report correctly to the map. I'm using my 80 meter dipole for this band here tonight, which isn't really ideal, but as long as the noise level is low, the, the uh, background noise on the band, it does do a fairly decent job. If you listen closely here, those steady, uh, what sounds like carriers, it sounds like somebody tuning up on frequency, and that is the whisper mode, the digital mode. They transmit for about two minutes at a time. So that's what that mode sounds like if you hear it. And um, I'm also copying the CW beacon here tonight. You can hear that in the background. That is the VE3OT beacon. There's also a web page you can go to for daily activity reports on 630 meters here to see what's going on day by day. I'll put the links below in the description. So I hope you enjoyed. Uh, kind of a fun band to play with on a cold winter and snowy night. 7-3 and thanks for watching WD0AKX.